All right, Gabe. Gabe, let's do it. Next part of our notes. Oh, in depth, into a long bone. All right, Gabe, we'll go and do it. In depth, into a long bone. Gabe, over on the side, I want you to draw the best long bone you ever drew in your life. Oh, make it go up and down, Gabe. Go ahead, Gabe, just kind of draw the best long bone, Gabe, you ever drew in your life. Go like that. Oh, I'm going, Gabe. Gabe, we're going to break this down. Go ahead, Gabe. Uh, Gabe, I, I'm really liking aqua blue. Uh, Gabe, uh, let's uh, do an aqua blue blue bracket right here. I don't know, Gabe. Pick a color. Pick a color, Gabe. Gabe, uh, Gabe. Uh, all right, Gabe. Gabe, uh, let's go lime green. And when we got... That's too close, Gabe. Gabe, make it, make it rave. Rave green. Bracket there and bracket there. See, Gabe, the ends of a long bone is called the epiphysis. Don't worry, Gabe, I'll write that again over here. Epiphysis. Get some space here, Gabe. Because, Gabe, the middle of a lung bone is called the diaphysis. Right, Gabe. Okay, to finish up my picture, I put like epiphysis down here. See, Gabe, each one of these is different. Like, Gabe, the epiphysis is made up of spongy bone, whereas the diaphysis is made up of compact bone. Gabe, you should be. You should be thinking about a question yourself. Not just Gabe, the whole class is thinking about questions. Good question, Gabe. Why? No, Gabe, that's my question to you. Why are the ends of a long bone made up of a spongy bone? Ah, Gabe, I got Bob's leg right here, Gabe. 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 Gabe, I got a long bone right here. I'm saying this is the epiphysis. It's made up of spongy bone. Gabe, uh, this is a long bone right here. This is the epiphysis. It's made up of spongy bone. Gabe, why are the two ends made up of spongy bone? Did you do it, Gabe? Yes! Because, Gabe, what happens a lot of times, like I just jumped and I landed, and the two ends, Gabe, could they hit each other? And by being made up of a spongy bone, which is a little bit squishy, then what they could do is they could absorb the impact. Got it, Gabe. Gabe, the epiphysis is made up of spongy bone, diaphysis is made up of compact bone. Now, Gabe, this is gonna be a theme throughout the whole semester. Everything in your body wants to have a covering around it. I'm telling you, brother Gabe, the diaphysis, I'm gonna do the diaphysis first. Gabe, the diaphysis has this covering, Gabe. It goes around it. It's this thin membrane, Gabe. Gabe, Gabe, uh, maybe on uh, next Monday, we'll look at a bone, Gabe. And Gabe, there's gonna be this thin membrane going around that diaphysis. And that thin membrane has a name. It's called the periosteum. Gabe, I'll write right here.
Now class, listen at this. The reason why everything in your body wants to have a covering, because like I was saying on the first day, bacteria would love to invade your body. And if bacteria invades your body, it found heaven. Now if bacteria gets in your body, it's going to try to like hide or like invade things. And if you have a covering around, it prevents bacteria from going in. Okay, you don't hear of a bacterial infection of a bone because the periosteum keeps the bacteria from entering the bone. Good game. The epiphyses. Gabe, 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 Gabe. The epiphyses are the ends. Gabe, the epiphyses is covered by the slippery stuff in the human body. Oh, Gabe, it's so slippery. Do you know the name, Gabe? Yes, it's covered by this white, slippery stuff called cartilage. I got it, Gabe. Gabe, I'm right, I'm doing it in white. Gabe, I'm going a bigger font, Gabe. I'm going right here. Gabe, I'm telling you, it's covered by this slippery substance in the human body. It's covered by this stuff called cartilage. Gabe, I'm going to write it down right here in rave green. Got it, Gabe, I got it right there. Gabe, I got to get it right there. Covered by How am I doing on time? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. That means I could talk to Sean Ryan. Sean, should we go down that route? See, Sean, what I got? I got this white stuff. It's the slippery stuff that's in the human body. And then, Sean, here's another epiphysis, and it's covered by the slippery stuff in the human body. Sean, it's just so awesome that those things are covered by cartilage, isn't it? Yeah, because it's so slippery, they just slide back and forth. But Sean, somebody in the class has a question. Could it ever? Yeah, and it does. Sean, what happens? Oh, oh Sean, oh, Sean, did it just happen? Sean, did a cartilage just get torn? Sean, have you ever heard of torn cartilage? Sean, class, let's think about how torn cartilage would feel. No, you're wrong. No, it doesn't hurt. See, there's no pain receptors inside the joint. So you're not gonna feel like any pain. So Sean, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's think about what happens. Sean, 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 I hope you can see this little flap right here. Sean, Sean, can you see that flap? Sean, 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 it goes like this. Sean, 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 Sean. <gasps> Sean, what just happened? Sean, I'll do that again in slow motion. Sean, Sean, I'm doing it again in slow motion. Sean, it's going like this. Sean, it's going like this. Sean, look at the flap. Sean, 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 look at the flap. <gasps> yeah, it got caught. Sean, what happened is that to uh, to uh, flap of cartilage got caught in the joint. Sean, it'd be like this. It's just like you can bend your knee. Oh, Sean, I'm bending my knee. Sean, you can bend your knee all fine. But when you try to straighten out, oh, I feel something catching in there, Sean. Sean, again, there's no pain receptors here, so it doesn't hurt. Sean, I can't, I can't. Oh, there, I forced it. No, that's all fine. And I bend it. But then that torn card just gets hot again. Oh. Dr. Ryan. Dr. Ryan, how are you going to fix this? We can't just be Dr. Ryan. We got to be doctor of the whole class. Doctor, whole class, how are you going to fix this? Mm, I heard you over there. Somebody said, stitch it. I mean, can you just like stitch it and like hold it in there? Sean, this is where it gets complicated. In a joint, there's like barely, there's a very little blood supply. When we're talking about burns where your skin is damaged and then your skin wants to go in hyper mode. I said that blood brings the body's healing kit. Blood brings the body's healing kit. So back to the joint, Sean, since there's very little blood, there's no healing kit. So even if you're able to stitch it back there, since there's no blood, it won't heal. So stitching's not an option. How are you gonna fix this, Sean? Sean, how are you gonna fix this? Yes, there you go. You just cut it out. Problem solved, Sean. Sean, you cut it out. Now it's not catching in the joint. Sean, what me and you just did, we talked about how to treat torn cartilage. 
Don't write in yellow, Sean. Ah, uh, purple. The answer that Sean told us is all you do is you just cut it out. Oh, Emerson, we got to revisit this. We'll revisit this with like arthritis. Because Emerson, we got to talk about Brandon Roy. Do you know who Brandon Roy is, Emerson? Well, yeah, he is now. He's the Garfield High School uh, boys basketball coach. Um, he went to Garfield High School, was a great high school player. Went to the University of Washington, was an All-American. Was a first round draft pick by the Portland Trailblazers. And Emerson, in his rookie season, he got rookie of the year. Uh, next year, Emerson, well, uh, Emerson uh, during his senior season, um, he tore some cartilage. And Emerson, how did they fix it? Yeah, they just cut it out. And then I said he had a great rookie season in the NBA, was rookie of the year. And then his second year, right before the playoffs, uh, uh, Emerson, he, oh crap, he tore his cartilage again. So what they do, yeah, you're right, they just cut it out. And then Emerson, and then uh, Emerson, uh, during his third year, oh no, Emerson, they tore the cartilage and they cut it out. Uh, Emerson, cartilage is the slippery stuff in the, in the human body and it covers spongy bone. You're right, Molly. Spongy bone is made up of needle-like pieces. So then Emerson, what happens is, is that the spongy bone now, because it's needle-like pieces, starts ripping into the other cartilage and the other cartilage and the other cartilage. And now Brendan Roy walks with this huge limp because the ends of his bones have no cartilage on it. So they're just grinding back and forth. Next week, we're going to talk about how to get a joint replaced. Got to end this video and we got to pick it up with Calvin.